Hello, this is Kevin Carr with IMC Search, and this is the video number one of our Search Engine Synchronization Whiteboard Series. And the first thing we're going to be talking about is SEO antics. Now, what I mean by SEO antics are these are the typical things that you end up seeing on a daily basis in your email inbox, <coughs> getting ranked number one in three days, $299 submission software, all these different types of things. We're just kind of going to clear the air and let you know definitely things that you do not want to do so you can just kind of toss those emails to the side whenever you receive them. Because if it sounds too good to be true, it usually is. And one of the first things that we'll talk about here is link schemes. Now link schemes, you've probably heard of uh, different types of link farms or getting you know a thousand links for $199. Anything that seems to be automated or is usually software driven in regards to people linking to your website is usually a bad idea. Because now when Google talks about links, they're talking about you finding relevant sites, other sites that are within your industry that are willing to link to you, giving you a thumbs up that you're a good site. And an automated piece of software just really won't do it. And a lot of people, I mean, I'm sure you've seen in your email box at one time or another, um, an email from somebody that says, hey, I'm the webmaster of abc.com and I put a link on, your, on our individual website, you can view it here, please link back to us. Now that's a reciprocal link, and reciprocal links used to work you know, two or three years ago, but now the search engines don't even want to see those. So when you get those requests, you can just bypass them, because the only links that you want to your individual website are links from directories, blogs, articles, different types of things that we'll be teaching you in this series, and if it sounds too good to be true, it usually is, so stay away from link schemes. The next thing we're going to talk about here is hidden text. Now, hidden text is clearly, uh, in Google's guidelines, a big no-no. So, hidden text is when usually you see a website, you scroll down to the bottom, and at the bottom of that website you see a lot of empty space. And then usually if you right-click and drag across that empty space, all of a sudden, you know, if it's a sporting goods site, you'll see baseball bat, baseball bat, all over on the bottom, all that hidden text. That is a big no-no. Google can pick that up right away, and that's a tactic you definitely don't want to use. Next thing we're going to talk about here is doorway pages. Doorway pages are basically, um, you know, you might have somebody contact you. There might be companies out there that say, well, we're going to build 50 or 60 pages for your site that are keyword specific, and when people land on those pages, they're going to be redirected to your website. Again, that's another trick that, you, that basically tricks the search engine and the user to go to your website. So anything that's not directly on your website, anything that is, uh, that's on somebody else's site that pushes to your website, unless it's just strict advertising, you definitely want to stay away from that as well. Here's another one that we hear a lot of and we get a lot of questions on this and we're talking about the super ranking software. You know, you run this software on your website and from there it's going to input all your key phrases and it's going to submit you to you know, 500 different search engines, you know, that's something you want to stay away from as well because even in Google's guidelines, when you read those, the Webmaster guidelines, they specifically even state an individual ranking software in their guidelines that you should not use. So they say any automated software that is used to build pages or used to submit to individual search engines is another really, really big no-no. So you want to stay away from that. And remember that you know the, your website needs to be for users and search engines alike. So when you're building content or you're doing anything on your website, you, you always want to think of it as, you know, am I doing this just for the search engines or am I also doing it for the actual users? Now in search engine synchronization, basically, you're going to reap what you sow. I mean, there's a lot of work that goes into optimizing the site and making it correct and you have to really become an information source for your industry. So you are going to be building a, a lot of content. I mean, we're talking about a lot of content for your specific key phrases. And you're also going to have to go out and find a lot of access points for people to get to that content. So we're talking about the links. This is all manual work. There's no piece of software out there that's going to magically get you there. So you, you know, you're going to have to get in there, do the work, and then you're going to reap the results. And one of the big things that's happening right now is your competitors that are in the top 10, they're probably using a lot of old tactics, old SEO. Remember here, we're talking about searching and synchronization. This is completely new to the industry. This is what gets sites ranked quickly and keeps them there for a long time. So as you do the right things for your website and your competitors do not change the things that they're doing, they're leaving you an open door to get those top, top search engine results. Now, one of the things that we talk about in searching and synchronization is why it's you know the present and the future moving forward for the search engines. And the reason being is, 
is basically you're building the right structure that the surgeons are asking you for. So you're going in and you're giving them the links, you're giving them the structure of the type of website that they want. You're putting the code in the website that they want, the types of title tags, the meta tags. These are all basics that they've been asking for for websites for years, but everybody decides to try to use tricks or schemes to get there instead of actually just doing the correct work. Because if you do the correct work, Google's going to reward you with the top positions. So what you want to remember from this is you want to stay away from this. SEO antics, anything that seems too good to be true, usually is. And remember, the only thing that you want to do on your website is something that you would feel comfortable telling Google or explaining to Google if they called. So if Google gives you a call and says, hey, why are you part of this link farm? You're not going to feel comfortable about that. Uh, you know, why are their doorway pages pointing to your site? You're not going to feel comfortable about that. But if Google contacted you and said, hey, why do you have these 15 really good content pages on your site that explain your products? Or why is your code so clean? Of course, you're going to enjoy telling Google that you've done the right thing and you've went through their guidelines. So always remember, stay away from the antics and do the things that we teach you in this video series and you will get the top positions that your website deserves. Again, this is Kevin Carr with IMC Search and Search Marketing Labs, and we'll be on to the second video shortly.